Hey, it's Zach Haberlock here. Um, this is my video on friction and um, a little bit about it and how it's used within the animal kingdom. Um, so friction, you know, friction's all around us. It's everywhere. And um, there's a couple of things that friction implies. One is that, or a couple of things that... Um, you know what we're, we're talking about when when we say friction and um one of those things is that friction is it has to be a force that is moving in the opposite direction of the body or the way in which the body would tend to move so if the body's moving this way friction would be you know going um that direction you know opposite of um the main direction and then another thing is that the amount of force that is um, being used in friction has to be equivalent to the magnitude of the force that's um, being used to move the body or whatever it is that's moving. Um, and then there's some animals that use friction. Um, one of them that I found with some research was snails. Apparently they use the force of friction. Um, they use that to stick to things. They use it to climb up surfaces that, you know, against um, the direction of gravity. They do this through producing the fluid. And this helps them survive because um, it helps protect their bodies from the harsh environment in which they're moving on. It makes them harder to grab. And it serves as a shield against parasites as well, apparently. And they use that friction to, like I said, stick. And it helps them climb surfaces um, that they wouldn't be able to without friction. And um, let's see here. Yeah, that's my video. Thank you.